I want, wanted to show you, um, this is one of my Southern Magnolias. I have another one, but this one is quite different. If you look at the undersides of the leaves, they're just green and um, smooth. They don't have that kind of fuzziness. This one, a little bit. You can see it's dark color and it has a bit of that fuzz, but for the most part, this tree does not do that. And I heard that there's a variety they call greenback, where it's green on the underside. Um, so maybe this is it. This um, was just a Home Depot special, and I am sure that it is a Southern Magnolia because uh, it does flower. There's one of, it's a small one, but uh, there's one of the flower pod or seed pods. And uh, the thing about this one is when it does flower, the flowers themselves are absolutely massive. Um, my neighbor has a big one kind of tucked in, kind of way off in the back there. My other one um, are quite similar looking, similar flowers, but this one, they're almost dinner plate size and much, much more fragrant, very uh, citrusy, like like lemon, not not citrus, but lemony. It has a very nice, um, sweet lemony smell, but totally green. You know, just the odd, just the odd leaf that kind of shows that darker color. But you look at all of these; they're just all that plain green. Uh, I put this one in, I think, a couple of years ago slow growing i find that they're not the fastest growing trees i don't know if that has to do with our climate or if that's just how they are in general but um, this one i call this one the uh, greenback uh, because that apparently there is a variety like that um, i've not seen one before i can't say that i prefer it i do like the coppery color on the undersides but uh, it's a nice tree nonetheless, and the flowers on this one are definitely the best. The leaves are actually starting to get to a decent size. So, okay, there's a Magnolia grandiflora and Southern Magnolia.